Your lumbar vertebrae is very beautiful today as well. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh my god. The weird smell spread throughout the infirmary. I was amazed by how that didn't stop Mr. Eugen from whispering his love to Beatrice. If I change the situation a bit, would I be able to find something in him that's similar to red? For example, if I imagine that Mr. Eugen is red and that skeleton model is me... Uh, don't. Then Red would definitely say this. I'll protect the hearing. I want to realize my hidden powers right away. Red is sincere to everyone, but he must seem strange to others. Just as Soya pointed out. Um, Mr. Kusion, I gathered up the courage to call him. What is it? Has the color changed? Mr. Kusion didn't even look at me and ask. No, that's not it. Can I ask you a personal question? A personal question. Mr. Eugen finally looked at me. I could see that he was immensely annoyed. Oh, I'm not even to interrupt my tongue, Beatrice. But I'll make an exception and let you. I almost tilted my head to see him say yes so easily. Am I lucky today? <laughs> Mr. Eugen, you're a bit strange compared to other people, aren't you? I tried not to say anything since it, but I couldn't think of any other word and had to say strange. You have your own world or something like that. I just feel that way. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I hurriedly added, Mr. Eugen didn't get angry as I had expected and thought for a while. The reason why people consider it strange is because they cannot see the things I can see. I guess that's true. Since I can't see the beauty Beatrice's lumbrae vertebrae has, but I try in my own way to understand other people. For example, I don't turn violent towards people who don't understand the bones. <laughs> You're trying? God. What more do you expect? But it's definitely not easy for me to understand others. So, so, I can do it because I'm highly intelligent. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I see. Mr. Eugen was now completely facing me. Because I'm intelligent, I was able to learn how to compromise with the world. That's why I can safely work under the Akadian system. When I go out, I mostly act like a normal person. I see. Mr. Eugen acting like a normal person. I can't imagine it. Well, but a genius like me is very rare. That's why these few people usually suffer from the general public who think they're strange. We can say that the red-haired student who brought you here before is of that kind. Red-haired student? Does he mean red? Wow! Mr. Yushin suddenly brought up red. I was startled and widened my eyes. You remember red? Of course I remember. I am a genius. Oh, yeah! I don't know other students, but I remember each and every one of those transfer students who all have perfect bone structures. I sometimes study them when they pass by. Anyways, I sense something nervous about that boy. Of course, it's none of my business. Something nervous? Are you keeping your eyes on the flask? It hasn't changed colors yet. Mr. Asian pointed it out as if he'd telling me not to forget my duty. Hmm. You know, you, you know yourself that he's a bit strange, right? Like me, he tries to see what other people can't. You, you think? And because he's that kind of person, 
He's desperately building a world that will soon be shattered. A world that will soon be shattered. But first, I'm really surprised at how sh sharp Mr. Eugene is. How can he know this much when he just passed by him? More tragically, he seems like a fool who lacks the skill to pretend to be normal. That's why he always acts energetic to gather people around him. Ah ha ha ha! I quietly thought of Red from what Mr. Eugene said. Then he, will he get disappointed someday? When the world he believed in shatters, and he realizes he doesn't have any special powers, Red will. The color has changed. Uh, oh! Mr. Eugene said in a low voice. I looked at the flask and was surprised. The blue liquid turned orange! The color changed! I found it first. You're not helping at all. Mr. Eugene came towards me and took the flask, and he carefully looked in it. This color, and this consistency. This experiment might be a success. What is it for? They say that curiosity killed the cat, but I couldn't stand it and ended up asking. Do you want to know? A little. If you drink this, your bones become stronger. Mm-hmm. What he just said was great, but I wasn't really interested in that medicine. Then should I just give him to invent something magnificent and carefully head back to the classroom? That li liquid medicine disturbed me just by its color. If I stay here, he might force me to drink. Ah, <laughs> oh, give me a minute. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Phone rang. <laughs> anyway. Then, then I'll head back to my classroom. <laughs> Since class started. Wait. Uh, Mr. Eugene poured some of the liquid in the flask into a small glass bottle. He He's not going to make me drink that, is he? Take it. N no, no. Take it. Uh, at his coronation, I took the bottle almost in tears. As I stiffly st just stood up and took the bottle, Mr. Eugene clicked his tongue. It's just a little bit, so you don't have to be nervous. Uh, okay, uh, uh, it'll be good for your body, but the experiment's not perfect yet, so be careful when you use it. And it'll not the fireworks, so be careful. What? Can I really drink something that frightful? I made a note to myself to never drink it and shut the lid tight. Anyways, thank you. As I bowed, Mr. Eugen waved his hands and gestured me to get out. Oh. <gasps> I barely managed to get out of the infirmary. Anyways, I never imagined I'd talk about Red with Mr. Eugen. I feel like he gave me some food for thought. I thought that the world's red. I thought that the world red. Bleh! I thought that the world red's building might come around to hurt him instead. Rehearsals again? <sighs> Soy came to me after school ended while I was getting my things. Oh, yeah. I definitely have rehearsals today. I don't have them tomorrow, but... I'm supposed to go to Banjul with Red tomorrow. I feel excited at the thought. Then just stay here for a bit and wait. Why? Soy rummaged through her bag and took something out. You finally decided on the second present? Soy took out a small, beautifully wrapped box. <laughs> <laughs> then hand it over to him like he did last time. It was cheesily written to Tay Hart on the box Soy handed me. Just by looking at the box, I could feel how much she, lo how much love she has for Tay. But I felt worse because of that. Why don't you give it to him yourself? Isn't it about time you tell him how you feel yourself? I can bear to tell her that Tay wanted to give back her present and talked around it. I think this time he'll refuse it, even if I give it to him. I have my own plan. You just have to deliver it to him. There's a letter inside this time. This time. The results will come out when he reads that letter. Soya said in a serious voice she never makes often. But I feel like Tay won't even take the gift this time. But if I tell Soya that, she might faint. I ended up nodding. Alright, I'll give it to him. No, this is gonna fuck everything up. Soya seemed excited the way she pounced on my soul and shoulders. I feel like I was ruining her good mood with my own hands. Sorry, Soya. Red, you do it. <laughs> Why does this line have to be in the script? It's so exact. I always thought I wasn't special. 
There were hidden powers inside of me. I only just realized that I was born to defend justice. Oh my god. No. I want to protect everyone with my powers. That's my mission, Yunarin. I'll be different from now on. I... I am the warrior of justice! Cut! As the club president yelled, cut, everyone started clapping. Red, your acting was superb! You were so into it. It was so awesome. I think Red has a talent for acting. I could feel his passion and sincerity in every single line. At first, the story seemed nonsensical, but I even empathized when Red acted it. I'm glad you liked it. Red smiled satisfyingly as he spoke. The script. It's as if the writer knew exactly what Red was feeling. What did Red think while practicing these lines? All right, Lance told me to ask to change the script. I remembered Lance's deal after thinking of the script. I can't just give up on his math notes. Everyone seemed to be in a good mood because of Red's acting, so I took the chance and carefully brought it up. Um, President? Huh? Yeah? Is this script finalized? If he says it's finalized and everyone's satisfied, I'll have to give up the math notes. Uh, uh, um, uh, probably not. Really? As I looked delighted at his response, one of the club members started to explain. Uh, yeah, to be honest, after seeing you with Red, I felt like we should change the script a bit. We're thinking of tweaking. And according to some rumors, I heard a freshman festival conductor complain about this script. <laughs> you can just ignore that. Red must have realized it's Lance and complained. We were about to change it, anyways. I see, then good. What is? It's nothing. Now the script will change without me hurting anyone's feelings. If I just tell this to Lance, I'll get to see his notes as he promised. I feel like the burden I felt for the midterms has shrunk significantly. No, should we end the rehearsal for today? No, we should. Good job, everyone. Everyone started packing their bags. As always, Red practiced the hardest today as well. I could see him still covered in sweat because of it. Red packed his bag and came to see me, or came to me. Aren't you thirsty? He kept on saying the lines out loud. Um, come to think of it, I am a bit thirsty. Then let's go. I'll buy you a drink. You want to stay on the roof for a while? I have a bad feeling he's going to see Tay's present. Red whispered to me so no one else would hear. Oh. Oh, okay, we get to choose. Aren't we nice? Yeah, let's go to the roof. I nodded. After saying bye to the other members, Red and I headed to the roof. I hope this happens. I hope something good happens from this. Ooh, this is nice. Red said after taking a sip of his drink. The rehearsals was fun today. When I focus on the play, I feel like I'm really the character I'm playing. It feels strange. That's what a play is. Becoming your character. Red said it in a bitter voice. Red? Is Red still feeling anxious? Ever since he started to slowly realize he might not have special powers, I mean... Red, if acting is fun, why don't you try pursuing it? Red didn't say anything at my suggestion. Red? <laughs> Ugh, I rehearsed so hard, I'm a bit oh, tired. Yes. Oh yay, CG! Red lied down and looked at the sky. I raised my head towards the sky as well. They skies clear today? Okay! <laughs> the sky's clear today. Yeah, it is. Kieran, doesn't that cloud look like you? It's like a chick. Kieran. <laughs> I didn't give a response to his jokes, so Red turned his head and stared at me. But why am I still the Kieran? What? You call Tay and Yeon by their names now. Why do you still call me Kieran? Uh-oh. You'll always be my hero. Why? Mmm. Red frowned a bit at my question. At that moment, a cloud passed by and the sunlight pierced my eyes. I ended up frowning because of that. Amidst all that, I could faintly see Red. If you're not my hero, 
then I feel like it will all disappear. What will? The reason I was born. Do you mean... I remember what Red said before. He said that he feels like he'll disappear if he's just ordinary. That day, Red told me with his eyes shaking from anxiety. I don't want to admit that the life I wanted to live was to play. Not yet. So you're my last hope, you know? Last hope? Yeah. My last hope that my life isn't just an empty stage. Red's voice echoed lonesomely through the empty roof. Red was troubled this much at what I said. I was being honest, but I never wanted to see Red suffer like this. Red, the conversation we had the day when I was locked in the warehouse, I thought about it afterwards. Yeah. A lot of thoughts came to my mind. And I made a decision. I realized my own feelings better. Regardless of who you are, why you were born, I just... I just have fun being in the play with you. And spending my day with you. I have fun watching you play a warrior. And I like that all the members trust you. And I like and like you. Oh. I didn't mention this time that he didn't have to try to become a justice of warrior. Or warrior of justice, it should say. I like Red the way he is. But I don't want him to get confused because of me. Red listened to what I had to say and didn't say anything. And he said in a small voice as if he couldn't help but laugh.